Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. Once again, in the previous episode, we managed to take out one of the other empires, the one specifically on the right hand side of us, which means we now control this entire peninsula. I peninsula? Island? No, we don't control the island because this is uh, controlled by two other factions as well. Either way, we took all of this bit on the right hand side, which t just takes the pressure off. And the way we managed to do it was essentially use a bit of a sneak tactic. We built the we built the Reactington, which was supposed to be a reactionary vessel that we sent around the place to uh, stop people coming in and ninja capping it if we didn't have any defenses there, or if we needed something to get there quick in order to sort of increase its defensive capability then we could do that and I was very surprised at the speed in which you can get across the map so we used that to really ninja cap the one at the back because they didn't have almost well had almost no defense whatsoever we managed to take them over no problem and then, um, and this is sort of a point of contention in the comments, I sent them over to Guildfield, which is where I use them to essentially charge straight forward, drop down, and then j jump into two of the four forts, specifically the ones in the middle, which actually meant that although they weathered a lot of stuff getting there and I lost the ships, in fact I lost all but one, I think, or did I lose all of them? I can't remember. Either way, I lost a lot of stuff, but the... They shot themselves. All of their defences got shot off each other. So that allowed me to then move in with the remainder of the fleet, which was the Flame Tankington, which is more of a board thing, the Zeppington Mark II, or the version 2, and then the Mini Zeppington, and then destroy that. And then, you now it's now, we're going to unpause it just a second, and boom, we've now, just we're now taken over, and, uh, taken over Licor Soth, which is good because it gives us cheap guns, minus 30% rifle, gun, and cannon cost. We also have a uh, Guild Field, which is a Suspendium Cannon. Ooh. And, um... In Catwick, we've got the Gatlin guns. So, the plan for this episode is to probably take out the island, although I might suspend that because of the Suspendium Cannon. I've always wanted to make a really big tank, like a fairly decent long-range tank that just sits right at the back and absolutely annihilates from long-range. And I think perhaps this might be the uh, way to do it. However... I do want to make sure I've got enough vessels around the place to stop this side, because obviously we've got one, two fairly big... I think these... Technically, these are actually um, all the same now, but there were originally several nations that banded together to form an alliance. So these ones and these ones. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. And then there's uh, this cap bridge that's just like, no, no, I'm on my own, and uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Maybe they're really, really powerful, who knows. Maybe they've got better tech than other people. There's no tech tree in the game. But uh, you never know. Right, so what should we do? Well, I do need to repair these. So I'll just unpause it and I'll see what happens uh, until... Well, we need to wait until this is uh, fully sorted out. Um, what I might do, however... I might go and see if I can take out quickly Fjorden. And the reason for that is if you look at it, you can see they've got a fairly decent tank. And whatever these are, worrying because they're quite big... What is more worrying is that. That is a black citadel, is it? Shining Tower. Shining Tower. And the problem with that is if it gets built, it could cause a lot of issues. I'm going to sabotage it. Sabotage it and failed and the spy was captured. Damn it. Right. So it didn't work, and our spy was captured. But we know that that's got a little bit to go. If I can get some Reactingtons over there. Let's repair this one. Move these over to there. And get in there quick. We might be able to take it over. I stress might. And there's only one way to find out. Here we go. I've got there in time. Excellent. The tower would have been there if we didn't get here in time. So, what we're going to do... I'm going to move two of the Reactingtons down here. I'm going to move two of them here. And then we're going to start, charge, take over. It's raining. Storm. Fires may go out on their own, but also we get lightning. So we'll start that. This one will immediately, we'll say, board there. This one, move forward to there. This one, uh, we'll say, board, just in case it charges forward. This one will move to there. And here we go. So, they charge forward. Um, that one, well, all of them, in fact. We will have to say, move. That one, move 
to there because they can go down. That one can board that one. This one is already boarding. Um, and that one is... I'm actually getting boarded myself. Interesting. So this is a boarding vessel. I thought they might have one. I just didn't know which one it would be. This one needs to move further forward so it can board. There we go. See, they've got spiders. Did you see that? They've got like... Yeah, see they've got little grappling hooks. <laughs> they actually have little grappling hooks, which is cool. But I have captured a vessel, though. This one is now captured, which is good. So I'm going to move that further up. This one can move further up as well. This one can move... Ooh, do we really want to go... No, 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 that is a, that is a melee vessel. Okay, fine. Uh, that's going to cause us some issues. So we've captured their tank. We've captured... Oh my good grief, have we captured almost all of these? Um, no, we've captured the tank. And we've captured... Um, we haven't captured this one yet. There's still fighting going on as far as I can tell. Uh, no, they're trying to capture it. They are trying to capture it. We'll move inside there. There's still a bit of an issue when it comes to the... Um what the hell is happening there? Oh, it looks like we've destroyed whatever. I think we've destroyed the coal star, and it's now out of it's now out of commission. And you see, it's dropped down. Yeah, we uh, there's still there's still a bit of an issue with crew, and they do at times just tend to just go. Oh, I'm just going to stand around. Look, so you can click on them, and you say move, but because they haven't got any, um, what is it? Because they haven't got any. Grappling hooks, they can only walk about, which is problematic. So this one is... Can we move that further forward? We can move it further forward. Look at that. <laughs> Interesting. So we can still use its uh, its gun. It's, it's actually bouncing on the top, and it's going to eventually destroy this back bit. But not yet. This one is captured, but it is out of ammo, which is a shame. What we're actually doing is trying to destroy this one. You can see the tank that we've captured is firing away here. <laughs> And there's not much left of this. I'm just, I'm just really wanting to know why on earth it's still up there. We go. I was going to say why on earth is it still classed as uh, fighting fit because it isn't. And victorious. So the victory captured. <coughs> not very good, is it? Not very aptly named. Upholder. No ammo. Okay, fine. Again, challenger captured. Again, didn't put up much of a challenge. And the marksman can't move. <laughs> Hang on. The marksman is immobile. No, that can't be right. Captured the challenger, which I think was the tank. Was the challenge? Was that? No, that's the victory. Um, the challenger is this one. That vessel there was. I'm guessing the marksman. It can't be this one. This thing I refuse to accept is called the marksman. It being, it being a melee <laughs> vessel. It's a. <laughs> it has to be this one, surely. That's defeated, but it doesn't say how. It's either that one or that one is called the uh, called the marksman, and there's a fifty percent chance that it is the uh, worst named vessel in the world if it's this one. Anyway, we'll click OK on that one. We'll go for a gentle takeover, and then we will retreat back to Generican. And actually. You know what? Because we've captured these two, we will... Um, oh, no, actually, click on those. Reacting tins, we'll send back to Generican. These, we'll send back to Fjorden. There we are. Because those are the ones we captured. I don't particularly care if that gets destroyed or anything else. I only took it solely because I didn't want them to build that... Um, thing that they were building. If they managed to take it, I'd be fairly screwed. So, our slow-moving stuff, we'll move it to Generican, and we'll move the Reactingtons back over to the centre. And same here, we will actually repair the Reactingtons, like so. We'll take one, two, three, four Reactingtons, move them back to Kudair, and then we do want to take out the spiders. Now, I did say last episode, I might go ahead and... Um, I might go ahead and destroy the spiders with, like, melee. Not melee, sorry, um, boarding. And there was a lot of comments on that. A lot of people saying, don't. Just, just, just don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. It's a silly idea. <laughs> you would not like that idea. So, uh, yeah, we're not doing that. We've, we've decided not to do it. What we are going to do is go to defences, though, and um, just check our defences here. Right, yeah, I thought this. Uh, we could repair that one. Why not? And um, we'll move it forward. This one we will... 
well, we can't do anything with it yet because it's it's still getting built up. This one, defences, we'll have a quick look, and uh, it's actually okay. So we don't really need another defence there. We'll leave that one because we managed to cap it. Defences on this one is fine. We've only got basic defences, as I said, it's just for stopping the sort of ninja taking. So, uh, question is, what's a cap bridge and what is at Retropolis? So, we need to destroy the Mad Scientist and we need to destroy the uh, Giant Spiders. So, can we do that? Well, we can do that, but how are we going to do that? Hang on, how many vessels have we got here? Right, the Reacting Tons. We need to move there. And you can see if it's correct because this moves so quick. There we go. So, we want these vessels to stay there. The other one to go back. There we are. Could have checked the giant spiders. It's the grown, which we've never used. So let's see what it let's see what it's made of, because we don't even know what it's made of. Let's um, repair the victory. Yes, yeah, so this is the victory. This is the challenger. Okay, repair that. So let's just see if we can uh, take out these giant spiders with a boarding vessel. Actually, I think this is boarding and melee. So I'm going to put it fairly low. And there's three giant spiders. Okay, I do not like this. We will say ram to there. And here we go. And, oh, we've got cannons on it, and it's pulling those towards us, and, yeah, it's probably going to destroy one of these, if I'm honest with you, just because of the sheer amount of ramming that we're doing. Um, although, no, 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 it's not, it's, it's, it's getting bored and almost certainly going to die, and, um, yeah, the spiders are killing us, that's boarded, and, yeah, yeah, we've, we've, we've lost that vessel. Uh, we could, we could run away. We have been defeated, yeah, yeah, that's... That's... Oh, the spider's damaged, though. And, um... Yeah, we'll move it to Kuder, I guess. So. Actually, no, we'll move it to Gilfield. We will... We don't even need to repair it, because there's nothing to repair. We've got defences, speaking of repair, and we will... Repair that one. We're just repairing all of these. I might scrap some of those. Although, I do like the idea of having, like, a very, very, very... Um... Defended area just as a fallback point, but I think we are going to go to probably mm, What's up that's a large shipyard, right? We'll do it here. I Went until it's repaired And I think what we'll do is we'll make a tank so We want to go to Design land ship we want to go to Weapons and we build it around the weapons specifically suspendium cannons one there and One there and one there three suspendium cannons Having it that close is risky very risky indeed But we're gonna go with it and see what happens so basic Corridor Straight down the bottom. In the center, we want connections like that. Alright. And then we'll have to have some ammo. One, two, three. On the bottom, we will have some sort of propulsion, which will be, I think, two sets of large tracks. Actually, do we need large tracks? Not particularly, but we could have... Oh, we could have that! <laughs> that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Never done anything like that before. Have like a... A vessel that's got that many tracks instead of large ones. Although... I think that would be better. So... One, two. There you go. <laughs> it's quite a long, quite a long machine, isn't it? Yes. Um, okay, so we'll go with that. Quite a long vehicle. We could even make it higher, if I'm honest with you. We could have it again, and another, another level of gunnage. Does what? Do we really want that? Do we need that? Is the question. Well, it's not about need, is it? It's about. It is about desire. Do we want it? Uh... 
Yeah, why not? <laughs> They've got quite a decent fire arc, these things, so we should be okay there. Remember, this is a long-range vessel, so there's... I mean, it's already 2,000. It's already a really, really expensive thing. Uh, guards? Perhaps guards in this thing are going to be worth it? I think so. We'll put a guard there and a guard there. We will have some... Well, for a start, we haven't got any coal, so actually maybe put the coal... I think what we'll do is put the coal at the back, like so. One coal there, one coal there, perhaps above as well. Um, maybe we don't need that amount, but we'll, I'd rather over, I'd rather overfuel it than anything else. Uh, repair bay, we're not going to have. We are going to have instead, however. This is going to be a fairly big beast. This thing. We want to go to resources and machine shop and put a machine shop in, which we will. Destroy some of this and put a machine shop in like so. Okay, connect those up. Guard barracks on top and bottom. Then we've got another chunk that we can put something in, which I think we'll go for a... Hmm, well, we do need cargo door, so we'll probably put a cargo door there. God, that, that's just flame. That that entire area is just... You want to you wanna be set on fire? Well, um, work around this area. Speaking of work, for a start, we don't have any way to command this thing. So we're going to put a bridge on the back. You notice I'm staggering it away from the ammo store. <laughs> I want it so that if the thing blows up, we uh, are far away from it. Yes, this isn't very efficient by the way, the way I'm making it, but it's what, it is what it is for now. Um, Actually, you can't get that way, which is a bit of an issue. We can do that though. Alright, and quarters. How many crew does this require? Recommend a crew 35. Air sailors 48. Right. That's not too bad. We do want actually to... Probably want to get rid of some of these. Do we need all this... Do we need all this coal? I don't know if we do. I'd rather keep this in the long fight though. But I think in terms of ammo... It's going to run out of ammo first. Yeah, it's probably going to run out of ammo first. It's also very, very, very prone I think to being set on fire at the front, so we'll have another fire point in there. I think it's a smart decision having another ammo point in and putting that further along so we can actually have two sets of crew quarters like that. There we go. So, we have a total of 48 air sailors, 34 crew in total. Uh, sorry, Recommend a crew 34, 48 air, air, air sailors in total. So enough to keep this thing going. We do want to go over to weapons and to the flak gun. And we want to put... Actually, not just a flak gun. We want to put a dorsal turret in. Like so. And we want flak guns in as well. Like so. Mm-hmm. There we are. Actually, do we want to... Do we want... A dorsal turret. It's always useful to have one. I always find it's always useful. However, however, perhaps a crow's nest is a better option. And the problem with a crow's nest is you can only put you can only put one of the two in. We're going to have to put a crow's nest in because a crow's nest increases weapon accuracy by ten percent. Well, this is all about long-range bombardments. So we need accuracy. We need that. So, what I will do is have the crow's nest here. I will have... Mm, actually, no, I will put it there. What I was going to do is have a couple of struts with the bridge on top. Like, Well, I'll show you what I mean, because it will look fairly interesting, I think. That there, that connected up to there, will have the bridge, like... So... And then, actually, no, that's not what I meant. Up to there. Up to there. And like that. And then you have it further along. You can't have it further along because of that. Put it there. Connect it up. That becomes a crow's nest. And then we have uh, struts. Like that. <laughs> so when you actually look from the outside. Where is it? Um... Overlays. There's explosion. Oh, 
god, look at the explosion damage. Uh, whole thing goes up. But you can see what it looked like. This bridge on top. I actually quite like that bridge. Like a flying bridge. <laughs> it's so, so problematic though. Because if that goes up, the whole thing will just go boom. But I do like the look of it. So maybe, maybe I'm going to stick with it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I've never had a bridge like that on this. But is that because it's a terrible idea? Mm, I don't really know. Can I just put a gun on there as well, you see? And then you've got symmetry, like that. I actually quite like that, you know. I do like that. Uh, what about if we move it down one? Like, do we need it as high as it is? That looks a bit better, I think. Uh, it depends what the explosion damage does, though. Let's have a quick look at overlays and explosion damage. Yes, that could take out most of the stuff, but the bridge will still be there even though you can't get access to it. That's f not fine. Uh, it's not fine at all, but it is what it is. So, yeah. Right, so we do need to go over to the strut, and we want to put a couple of struts in the front here. The problem is that these tend to get bashed. So I'm going to put some struts like this, just to, just to protect it. Um, like that. A bit of defense. If you hit something, you it's going to take the strut out rather than the rest of it. So, what are we missing? Well, we've got recommend the crew 46 and we have 48. We have a total 48 guards. I think we'll have a... We've already got ammo stores called or machine shop. We haven't got a repair... Oh, we haven't... No, we haven't got a repair bay, but we don't need one. We do, however, need a sick bay, which I think I'll put in here. Not here, maybe. Maybe another crew quarters would be a good idea as well. Two crew quarters? Overcrew it? Maximum? Maximum overcrewage. Recommend a crew 48. Actual air sailors 72. <clears throat> Probably a bit too much. Maybe one more. One more is worth it. In here, though, we do need a little bit more ammo, I think. That's the thing. I, this, this might run out of ammo quite quickly. But we'll go to small ammo store. One there, one there. Connected up with a one of those, and then two more, and another entrance, just because we can. Um, actually, if we're going to do this, we're doing it a bit wrong. What we want to do is have the the guards. Where are the rest of them? It's very difficult to see. Where are the rest of the guards? Take that out. Take that out. One there. One there. Can't see the other guards. Guards eight. Oh, that's okay then. So, I've put the guards near the entrance doors here because that's the only way they can get into this thing. So that is the vehicle. It's heavy and may have difficulty. Yet, yeah. lightly reduce structural integrity to slightly reduce structural integrity due to large size because it's so big. Armor. Right. It's currently very expensive. Very expensive. What about massive stone wall? Phil. Yep, it's too heavy. What about steel armor? Ooh, it can work with steel armor. It's expensive, but I don't care. Right, mouths. Do you want to put mouths all on the front of this one? No. Because I think mouths sometimes make it look a bit comical, whereas this I want it to look menacing. And less is more. And it's called Lily of the Valley, which is not really an aggressive name at all. So, it's going to be GLV. Um, what the hell? It's not the Bombardington, because we've already had one of those. Mm. It'll be the GLV. Mm. It's the Long Tankington. It should be the Long Range Tankington, but Honestly, that would be far too much of a mouthful. So, we will leave that. I know it's uh, we spent a lot of time doing this, and uh, I apologise if that's not what you want, but I do think it's important that we uh, go ahead and try this out. So, we're on 149 credits. What I'm going to do is go to Guildfield, go to Defences, and probably scrap that. And scrap... Do you want to repair this? Yeah, we'll repair that one, why not? 
The problem is keeping these, they, they do take resources just to keep, to keep them there. But once I've got the money, which is going to take quite a bit of time, I'll speed up to max speed here, which is a disadvantage because if they're going to attack me, we might have some problems. Ah, actually, wait, we're about to get attacked by the Mad Scientist, which sends... What on earth? Robots with weird arm things. Okay, move the tank back. Uh, that goes all the way back there, I think. And this one with... Hang on, this is a boarding vessel. Well, that might be okay. Let's start this. I've never seen those before. They've got, apparently, minigun heads. Which is just plain weird. What are those strange robots? Yeah. This is quite weird indeed. They're sitting at long range. And doing a number, actually, on me. I wonder if I can board them. Oh, no, no, but I can't. I can apparently land on top of them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm no good. <laughs> I'm no good now. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, right. So, they are absolutely peppering this tank. Look at it, it's a state. It really is a state. I have destroyed two of them. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like this arm thing. It's a bit weird. I'm not even managing to defeat this thing because I've got a minigun head, some sort of weird gun for an arm and also that tentacle. My tank here, the Victory, is going to get a, yeah, a taste of whatever that's got and actually, no, the front of the ship has just fallen off. We might be able to win this though. If we get to the end, I think we do survive. No, I don't think we will win that and yeah, we've only just... Lost that one. Raid complete. They're going to go back. However, now... Yeah, look. There's two nations coming straight towards this area. Can you really blame them? I don't think so. Let's go to build land ship and... Long Tankington. Four grand. It's a really, really expensive piece of kit. And they're going to take this over. And they've got that. I have nothing. I'm just going to start and they immediately win the fight because there's nothing for me to actually defend with. I could have sent the reacting tons, but to be honest with you, I only took them out in the first place because of the uh, what they were building. Actually, it means this green guy's taking more stuff over. Right, you know what? Um, I will send the reacting ton over to... I don't even know what sort of cap, cap bridge. We sent stuff over there. They are building whatever that is. They've got two... Walkers, probably, oh, and that's a melee ship as well. And oh, good grief, they've got a lot of defenses. Right, that's gonna that island's gonna take a bit to take out. That's that's gonna take a a lot of resources. Should we attack the mad scientist? Well, they're not really bothering me now. I want to wait until this uh, bombardington's finished so I can send it towards the. Uh, Oh, so, uh, sorry, the long-range Tankington. Send it towards the spiders. And actually, on the right-hand side, you can see that this guy's managed to take over the rest of the island. Okay. Interesting. So, we'll take these two, and we will attack the spiders. I don't know how this is going to go. I have a feeling it's not going to go too well for me, because this is, after all, a long-range vessel. But if I can put it back here, perhaps I'll have a bit of an advantage. This one, not so much. I'm just going to use it as a doorstop. Right, let's start this one and let's see what happens. So, first things first, this I will say board. Um, I should say ram, to be honest with you. You say ram to there. There we go. It's actually going to... They're going to pull each other. Look, they're going to... Yeah, they're pulling... All of these are pulling this thing towards them. And obviously, we've got a ramming prow, so it's going to probably damage one of them. At the back, however, you can see the tank is... Well, actually in a bit of a weird state. I'm going to actually back the thing up. But there you go, look. It's firing the Suspendium Cannons. Quite well, I think. Um, it looks like we have managed to take one of the spiders out. There are other spiders coming towards me. The baby ones, which is problematic. My long-range Suspendium Cannons are firing away there. This is slowly moving back. Yeah, it doesn't do very well on... Um... Ground like this. D 
doesn't really do very good on ground that's uh, sort of very undulating, I guess, would be. But what it does do is very nice long-range bombardment. You can either suspend your cannons firing, which are very, very long-range guns, by the way. I didn't really explain what they were. I apologise. They're long-range um, long range guns. You can see they're like... Very, very... like They're like real guns, I guess, is what they're supposed to be, I would assume, anyway. The spiders are coming towards me, which is going to be a problem. So, let's see what happens here. We might have to run. They've now uh, snapped onto the side of the vessel, and they're heading towards this. Now, this is where we're going to have to be um, very cautious. Oh, they're actually going for the... Ah, oh, they're going up here! Oh no, they can get in the crow's nest. Oh, that's bad. So the crew are trying to take them out, and it's not going so well. Although I think our yes, our guards have just started to engage them. Look, you can see the uh, slider was going up and down, up and down. And uh, finally, when our guards engage them, it start going towards me. I do have a lot of crew on this, so we are managing to, I think, take control back. Yes, we have took control back. Yes, we're okay now. I'm fine. So let's let's push forward. In fact, why can't we move? We're, we're actually fairly stuck. Oh, that's bad. The um the ass end is on fire, and that's a lot of coal that's going to go up. How is the fighting going? This spider's almost dead. That thing is completely ruined. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. The back of the thing's blowing up. And more fire. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the back of the ship's blowing up, and it's. Well, the coal doesn't blow up, but the ammo did at the top. Yeah. Okay. I should have known that that might have... I should have known that that uh, would have been the case, actually. Let's speed up a bit. Because we're, we're actually out... Are we out of water? We're not out of water. But the water is very far away. We are, we are out of coal, though, so we cannot move. All of that coal... Uh, actually, I was going to say all that coal, and we've run out of it, but actually most of it's burned. Most of it's burned. In terms of ammo, though... We've got loads of it. So rapid fire. And, ah, oh crap, it's coming towards us now. Uh, we don't have any crew left, do we? We've got one crew left. I'm going to flee. I'm going to have to flee. I'm going to have to run away. Right. So, we'll repair that and we will leave it there. Interesting. 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 We're going to have to make some changes to that because it is too vulnerable in so many places. So, next episode, we'll go back through. We will, I wouldn't say redesign it, but we will take out some of the weaknesses and hopefully try that again. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's a failure, but I wouldn't say it's a great success either. Oh, well, we've had uh, three good designs so far, so we're about to make, come, on, come across something that was fairly crap. So... Next episode, we will do that and perhaps even engage this guy because, well, he's taking over the entire island. It looks like uh, the other one down the bottom has only two things left. It's going to be interesting. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.